Hey guys, uh, Joe here. Um, I got a few frames I thought maybe you'd like to see. Uh, we had a storm last night and I uh, have a bunch of my stuff. Had to be taken out from one side of the house and brought into this side of the house and a lot of the frames have been uh, stacked. And someone said to me maybe uh, people like to see them while they're down so I thought here you go. This is uh, from the Legend of the King uh, picture disc. I'm sure a lot of you uh, have it. It also came out in uh, CD. Uh, there was many different uh, releases of it with different numbers. It got very confusing. I have the majority of them. Uh, they also came out in a, a, a red uh, four um, vinyl uh, releases of it, different radio shows of it. And I, I tried to collect as many of them as I can. And uh, we'll talk about that later. So this is actually the picture that's on the uh, picture disc. And I'll get back in the frame a little better. And that's that signed down at the bottom by uh, Don, like, what is that, Vogel? Yeah, Vogel. It's numbered, uh, it's number eight out of 1,980. Pictures on both sides. And th this is what this is. Okay. So you have something to look at. Okay, so uh, the very first time, side two master acetate cut for the legend picture disc. This is a positive groove and is therefore playable if you want to screw up your needle. Uh, the master plate negative groove is made from the acetate. The mother positive groove is made from that. Um, um, there is only one acetate master and mother, but there is a new stamper, which is what this is, for every 1,000 copies made. It does looks really cool. I love it on the wall. It looks really really cool so look, let's see what else is next here uh, okay uh, Madison Square Garden uh, double platinum uh, multi-platinum uh, RIAA award been uh, hanging uh, in back of my bar for uh, many years it's seen a lot of parties and a lot of beers tipped back. Um, had a uh, party one time, and uh, some idiot who had been uh, drinking way too much was uh, shooting spitballs at it. He was asked to leave. Very neat. You know, I see the cassette here and the CD here and the little pictures up at the top. Uh, One million sales. Very cool. Okay, this is the uh, Sahara Tahoe one. Uh, they also use these in, uh, for the International Hotel. Sonny, uh, Dick Grobe, and a few of the others. Uh, Charles Stone, who works, worked for Concerts West, and then uh, did a lot of work with uh, Colonel Parker, said uh, in between every show they had to uh, replace these because uh, these were constantly being taken off the uh, walls. Well, I would have been one of them. I'm sure you would too. It's very neat looking. The uh, other one is exactly the same, but just has international in here. I have other stacks. If you don't mind uh, looking at them, let me know. Let me see. Um, okay. Uh, Dick Clark autograph. He was a very nice guy. Very nice. He did a, an awful lot for uh, rock and roll. He really did. Let me see here. There's a summer record. I don't think it's the Elvis one. Though. Oh no, Carl Perkins with a real sleeve. Uh, Elvis is, uh, but I do have uh, the, the one of the Elvis ones that I have. Uh, I did fr uh, frame with the uh, actual sun sleeve. It just uh, presents itself better. And this one is with uh, Carl's. And it's a uh, Lemme Your Comb one. These hang in front, uh, I'm sorry, in back of my, one of my rooms, I've got uh, a full row of uh, theater seats. 
Very, very cool. Oh, very beautiful. Let's see if I can get this up without killing myself or breaking it. What's next here? We all know this one, Elvis on tour. Beautiful poster. Absolutely beautiful. MGM presents a very different motion picture that captures all the excitement of Elvis live. Elvis on tour in multiple screen. I hated that. Watching those three uh, screens drove me crazy. I hated it. They redid it. Um, I don't remember when it was put out, but all you could see was the one screen. And what did they do? They went back to it with the multiple screen. I have no idea why. So I think the Elvis on Tour box set that just came out has a on CD where it's the back to the multi, multiple screen. Okay, well, there's a quick little, um, for one thing, they, they, it costs a lot of money to frame the damn things. Um, I was young and dumb when I got this, and I wanted to be, I wanted people to, to be able to see the date in that down at the bottom. And some of them have like little color squares in that. I wanted everybody to know that it was real. So I told them to, uh, you know, leave this part to where the, it could be seen. And he said, well, there's nothing for the frame to grab onto. I said, it'll be fine. He says, no, after a while, it will waterfall. Well, after a while, it did. So that's why you might be able to see a little bit of wrinkling going down there. And the strange part is, I can't see the numbers that I wanted everybody to see. Huh, who knew? Lots of money to frame. I gotta put this over here because I'm stacking too many of them. Bear with me. Almost there. Don't fall. What's next? Oh. Okay, King Creole, but this is when the uh, motion picture came back again. <laughs> this one is boarded. Hope you can see it. Beautiful one, not easy to find. Elvis Presley back on screen in one year. I mean, the back on screen for the first time in a year. Beautiful looking. I love the red to it and then the red titling. Uh, and the yellow just makes it pop. And um, with the red here, the, um, the white titling, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. But then again, just so damn expensive to frame these things. I mean, I could, buy, I could buy so much more Elvis items for what I have to pay for frames. It's crazy. Okay. You'll, you'll lose me for a minute here. What's next? Here comes my cat. Sorry about this, guys. Okay. All right, this is a beautiful. Um, let me see. I want you better see the whole thing. I can't tip it up. It's just too damn big. This uh, banner, this pennant, we'll call it that, was uh, hung down from um, inside the casino at the Sahara Tahoe. And the person that wanted it was with her uh, uh, husband. And they were with another couple, which uh, one of them was uh, Sue McCaslin. Um, I did a book with her, uh, the Sahara Tahoe, uh, The World's Greatest Secret, something like that. I haven't looked at it in freaking years. And uh, the one girl wanted this uh, big banner, so he jumped the, on, he climbed on top of a one-armed bandit and he uh, tore it down and I mean tore it down he took off a piece of the uh, the banner right down in here so the security guard uh, saw him do it and I uh, asked him to leave and he did but he was nice enough to let him uh, keep the banner so when I said tore it he really did Tear it down in the corner down here. There was a piece of the paper that was missing. 
So I sent this though, uh, away to have it uh, professionally uh, restored. So what they do is they take uh, actual, uh, the same age paper and then they fill it in and um, somehow, I'm not sure what they do, but you can't even tell that it's not uh, the original poster uh, piece. You can't tell. And they had some rips into it, and um, I can see it. There's an old rip there that you can see. That if you really look hard, um, I can see it because I knew it was there. And a couple other ones. It was really dirty. Uh, I can see the frame needs to be dusted now. Um, it was really dirty, but when it came back, man, oh man, it was not the same poster. It was absolutely gorgeous. Um, it cost me a freaking fortune. I mean, framing. Uh, having it worked on and redone and, and given that a bath and stuff and it was almost a thousand dollars. Would I do it again? You damn right I would. It's absolutely beautiful. You can actually find this in uh, two different bootlegs. One of the bootlegs they actually have this as the uh, the CD. I don't have the two CDs with me or I would show them to you but I'm going to be showing you this again later with some uh, other things. Well, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I always enjoy uh, showing it to you. Uh, you guys all take care. 